right, isn't it? Today on the vlog, we have this Sports the Boba build. whose idea was to build this incredible, astonishing, beautiful bike. Right, we started with a written off Sportster 1200 solid mount engine, which we then went to Raw Steel Choppers, who we gave some ideas to the frame. He built the frame. The wheels are 23 inch front and rear. They're both front wheels, but obviously we've had to use them as a rear as well. It's got a Sprota, K-Tech Sprota caliper sprocket. Uh, Wassel fuel tank and one off uh, front springers and then the frame was kind of strings and my idea of what we were looking for. So that was your idea to make the holes in the front? Yeah that was my idea kind of stolen from America uh, mm -hmm. I saw a couple of pictures and really wanted that and then the guy that built it for me Tom Batterby he then incorporated the holes into the frames, etc. Mm -hmm. What was your inspiration for that build? Because it's not it's not a usual Boba, isn't it? Bike idea basically is about an American board track racer, and we kind of given it a English modern twist, uh, which was where the ideas all came from originally. Uh, the paintwork was done by Dave at Flaky Dave's, and this is from a very early Harley. We just kind of copied the emblem just to give it a bit of an old and then the new with the wheels and then the bits and pieces. So the emblem is original Harley emblem? Yeah, it's just a copy. It's slightly days. different mm -hmm. and obviously with the Slinky Bint name, mm -hmm. but that's where the ideas come from. And Slinky Bint is your builder who, who put this yeah, all, uh, all the ideas together? Yeah, it's his. I, I gave him my ideas. He adds his twist to it and this is what the end result is. Yeah. It's very interesting paint on the engine very unusual yeah that's um it's just the effect we kind of went for just mm -hmm. heat proof paint really it's not much mm -hmm. apart from polishing them which takes hours and hours if anyone's ever done it they know that <laughs> but, um, did you help with polishing no no you're not, you're not helping not no hands on no, you are brain on. brains and the money Brains and the money. You are yeah. brains and the money. Oh, yeah, I forgot the money. money. <laughs> yeah, lots of do, money. Do you know roughly, do you remember roughly how much it cost you? Uh, I think about We won't tell 15,000. Mm. No, she knows. She sees the bank account. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're, about, not, you're about, not hiding your spreadsheet? No, about okay. 15,000. The wheels were expensive. I had to bring them in uh, from America. They're Ultima wheels. Mm -hmm. um, they're billet solid, one piece. Uh, Tom had to machine the front hub down to get it to, to work with the caliper mm -hmm. uh, and to get it in the, the, the width of the forks. Mm -hmm. um, they were about £1,200, I think. Plus customs and delivery? No, that's yeah. no, £1,200 yeah, yeah, all all together. In. And the tyres are about 250 each because mm -hmm. there's, there's not many 23-inch tyres around. Mm -hmm. Is it Serrano's? Yes, Serrado's forks, springers. Mm -hmm. uh, they're his earlier ones. He's now made a, uh, a Mark II, slightly improved, but they're very good. I like them. Use it's them on so a couple of builds. So much detail on the forks. Yes, yes, That's they are nice. very nice. Did you, when you started, when you when you came up with the idea and saw those board track bikes, did you had an idea who needs, who has to build it, and like where to go for, for example, for forks, where to go for frame, and, and like who the um, new builder? I spoke to String at one of the uh, NCC meets and had a long chat with him about building me a frame, which is kind of that's where I made the decision. I'd used Fenlon before very happy with Fenlon but I just wanted to try a different frame, frame manufacturer mm -hmm. just to give them a chance to see if we can build something a bit different uh, so uh, hence we went to String mm -hmm. um, he, he was very good we worked together very well there was a couple of issues which we sorted out and we've ended up with this mm -hmm. is it hard to make all those people who are making different parts to work together at the end because if, if somebody makes a frame and you bring it to the builder he might say like no it doesn't work with, with the build that you think of. 
Um, uh, all, everyone works together very well. Tom's very talented, uh, and String's very talented, and it kind of went together. And then obviously there's the final machining and everything which Tom does mm -hmm. um, to bring it up to the standard of what I like in a build. When you had to take parts from one person to the other, did you do it yourself or your builder did it? No, 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 I, I ran it up to um, String and he did all the frame. I then collected it and brought it back here. It was here for a couple of months. So you got hands on a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do all the running around, uh, sourcing all the parts. Um, there's a lot of parts to try and get it. It, you, you can't see it, but the, the grooves in there match the grooves in the caliper mm -hmm. and things like that. It's just making it look right. A lot of attention to yes. detail. Isn't yes. It? Is that your first bike? Is it the first bike that you commissioned and you had an idea and you built? This is my third one. You built them before? Yeah, this is my All Tom, Sportsters? Uh, one Evo and one Sportster, mm -hmm. um, which I've sold on. Mm -hmm. um, this one probably won't ever be sold. You'll never get sold? No. You love it? No, love it. Do you ride it? Yes, I ride it to the local shows. Anything, the furthest I rode was one hour. I get about 60 miles out of a tank. So I try not to go any further than an hour. <laughs> yeah. Plus the seat's not very big. And not very comfortable. And not very comfortable. <laughs> um, yes. But no, she's ridden. Mm -hmm. Always ridden. If you would build it again, exactly the same, with the same idea you would come up like today, would you do anything differently? No. Um, no. You, you, you still No, it. no, it's, it's everything I wanted. Um, I'd like an Evo engine, but then you wouldn't get the compact size mm -hmm. because the engines are so much bigger and the sports are so much easier to work with. Mm -hmm. So no, I wouldn't change anything. This one, Backstreet Heroes. 220 best custom. Is it? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's Both been magazine it's well. been magazine featured. Uh, my last three builds are all magazine features. Tell me, it's not the most comfortable bike to ride. You don't it's ride It's okay. It, it's okay. You don't ride that much because as we see you have other bikes yeah. and plus that sexy Indian which is probably a lot more comfortable. Yes, that is, yes. Why? You do that? Um, I just enjoyed the build. I think the best part is the building of it, the, the getting all the parts together and, and then producing this. And then I like to do the shows with them. So that's your previous build? This is my yeah. previous one. Is that the first one? This is the, the first one uh, we did. This was a Fendham frame. Again, same engine. Uh, I used the Carl Foster tank, which is my favorite tank. We used a DNA Springer front end. This bike was uh, old school, so it was only 16 inch wheels with the Firestone tires. Mm -hmm. um, same headlight because it's my favorite headlight. You can kind of see some bits because it was a slinky bent build, but that was with a Fenland frame. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that was probably one of my favorite bikes. Mm. And you sold it? And I sold it. You sold it? I Your sold first it. build? My first build, Tell yes. Tell me how this happened. Uh, I was offered a very okay. good offer. I think I know how it happened. Because you knew you can take the money and commission yeah, another I, build. Yeah, I, 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 I took every penny and added an awful lot to it. And we built a, uh, a 1340 Evo engine mm -hmm. bike, which again was well, it was a higher standard than this bike. It was lovely. And winning some trophies as well. These are, these are all the trophies that this bike's mm -hmm. won. All of them? Yeah. Yes, yeah, all of them. I won by this bike. Mm -hmm. um, the other trophies for the last bike I gave to the bike builder. Oh, okay. He's got them so all. He, yeah, okay. Yeah, because the this this bike won about eight trophies. So when when somebody buys your build, comes with the trophies. Yes, yes. Yeah. Only if I sell it. I understand why you build them because of a process. Why do you think people buy them? I think people buy them because they can see the build quality is really good. There's a lot of guys out there that probably haven't got the time and the knowledge to build a bike. Uh, and some people can afford it mm -hmm. um, where I can't, but I just 
buy the bits and we build them. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a bit cheaper. Not a lot cheaper, I don't think. Mm. Where is your knowledge coming from? Do you have any background? Uh, like related no, it's just what I've learned through the years. I've had motorbikes from when I was 14. And always interested in custom? Yes. Oh yeah, everything's custom. Back to when I was about 17, I think I started cutting them up. Mm -hmm. but, Yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah, and then went to cars, and then obviously uh, back onto bikes, and then kind of cars as well. Mm -hmm. So it's an expensive hobby. <laughs> And I've been yeah, married three times. Oh, so. yeah, that, that's more expensive hobby. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. Actually, is it she, he, does he, he, she have a name? Um, no. No name? You no, the name first one had a name, Sparkly. Mm -hmm. And then the second one was Sparkly 2. Oh, okay. This one, no name. No name? No name, I don't know why, we've never... Too late. <laughs> Too late. I like mid controls. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I prefer mids. Um, mm -hmm. The next one we're building at the moment, that's going to have mid controls, mm -hmm. uh, but that's an Evo motor. Because the bars are quite far. Yeah. Comparing, and if you have that, yeah, that that is a lot yeah. of stretch. Yeah, when you sit on that one, that's mm -hmm. quite a stretch. Mm -hmm. But um, this is lovely to ride. I find it really comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it does feel lovely. Yeah, it does yeah, it's, feel it's good, good. That one. Good position. The clutch is very it's heavy. Comfortable. Oh yeah. Because of the cover. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh yeah. What clutch? It's just because of the the MD covers. Mm -hmm. It makes the clutch really what heavy. What clutch do you have? Standard. Standard. Standard clutch. clutch. Yeah. All standard. standard. The engine standard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about the brakes? Did they improve? No. 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 Okay. No. <laughs> Still the same? <laughs> Still the same. Harley brakes. Yeah, same Harley brakes. There's a K-Tech. That's K-Tech calipers. That's a Sprota, mm -hmm. um, which is a uh, the, the disc and the sprocket are the same. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, not very good. It's good you're not riding that much. <laughs> no, well, you don't go fast on it. Yeah, that's 140 miles on the clock. Yeah, no, I think um, I think I've done about seventy-five mm -hmm. was about the best, mm -hmm. but yeah, no, not good. Mm. But doesn't feel right. No, mm. no, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you're holding on. I was offered to ride it, but it's winter here in UK and the roads are really salty today. So I wasn't even prepared that somebody will offer me to ride a custom build. Like, look how beautiful, shiny, clean and perfect it is. So it will be no riding guys, but you heard the sound and you can see me sitting with imagine me riding. Like, <laughs> I got to sit on just the mics, I got to look. <laughs> <laughs>